Our next report keeps us aside, but not in the water, because we were at the first beach polo European Championship in Lignano at the Adriatic Sea. Now, if you're thinking about an elite game with ladies wearing fancy hats, you're so wrong, because it's all about beach, summer, and the sea. And most of all, it's about a lot of action. Most people would travel to the sunny Adriatic coast to have fun in the sea. But at the end of September, already the off-season, Lignano was the venue for the first European Beach Polo Championship. Two Swiss teams, one Austrian team, and one Italian team competed in the championship. France and Germany were watching from the grandstands. What exactly is the attraction of playing polo on the beach? You have to stage something for people. They want a story. They want atmosphere. With sand and beach, you always communicate holidays, which creates a truly new setting for people. Better than standing by a huge grass surface where people can't see properly, where there's no presentation, no music. I think what's essential here is the atmosphere. In his day job, Uwe Seebacher is a manager, but his great passion is the noble horses. However, this successful polo player has not been riding long yet. 2005, in Uruguay, on the dunes. I had to learn to keep myself on a horse. I deliberately don't say riding, since riding is completely different. I learned on the dunes and then I saw polo and was fascinated right away. Each game is subdivided in four periods, so-called chukas. In beach polo, one chukka has a duration of seven minutes. The objective is to score as many goals as possible. The action on the field can be experienced pretty close because at just 30 by 60 meters, it's a lot smaller than for a tournament on grass. Teams consist of two people and two horses each. The sand is specially prepared to keep the horses from sinking in. And what is it that makes the real difference? Polo is down to earth, likable. One learns this. Once you've been on a polo field in Argentina, Uruguay, Brazil, all social layers are there. It's something people share. What was done in Europe to date was exclusive, and that's wrong. This sport should be staged sympathetically. So, what do you need to play? A ball, a bamboo club, a whip, leg protection to protect from kicks and club blows, a helmet, a rider, and not forgetting, a horse. Bipeds are accommodated in an elegant beach hotel. Quadrupeds are housed at a nearby horse hotel. Here, they're as well looked after as their owners. Polo players see their horses not just as a normal farm animal. For me, they're sports partners who have to be treated equally with regard to everything, training, preparation and food. I have to make sure that there is medical care. I have to look after it. I have to understand it. I must be able to read the horse. And in contrast with normal polo, here riders look after their horses themselves. We go to the stables in the morning, feed the horses or have to muck out, it depends on the stable services. Then we exercise them, which means we give them 10 to 15 minutes in order to relax them. Back to the tournament and the upcoming hope of beach polo, the Swiss Junior Polo Champion. Today, the youngster plays against adults only for the European Championship title. Hello, ich bin Yannick. Hi, I'm Yannick. I'm 12 years old and I love playing polo. For as long as he can remember, Yannick has lived for and with horses. And since he was nine years old, he has been playing polo and beach polo himself. Yannick's mother knows that the sport can be rather hard, too. These are boys and they're not careful. There's lots of adrenaline, testosterone and a lot of action. No one really looks after a little boy, as you're able to see, but he copes quite well. Despite being almost too anxious, Michaela supports her son and practices daily with him. On one thing, all players definitely agree. The real VIPs are the horses. Beach polo originated in India. Because there the game is played in the evening and the sun is rather low, after each goal, sides are swapped in order to give each team the same chance. In equally sunny Lignano, Janak and his teammate Reto compete against the other Swiss team in the European Championship final. Ultimately, despite giving his all, 
In the end, the other team wins. Es ist gut. It's okay. I'm happy. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> and despite being impressed, Priyanik's mother won things for sure. Well, my son's runner-up in the European Championships, but still, he has to go to school tomorrow. In any case, the victory of the first European Championship goes to Switzerland. That's the new champion here, European champion. Oh. Oh. In this European Championship, Yannick might only have been runner-up, but in the next one, he might well be the winner. For me, Yannick represents the new generation, which has developed the right way and has the correct mindset. We need some sustainable development and proliferation of this beautiful riding sport. This first beach polo European championship certainly was fun. Now that is polo of the next generation. And I have to admit, it looks great. But anything is more fun if you can do it on the beach.